tag. We'll see if the champs retain or if we have new champions crowned at our main event, leg sweep. And now Sho gonna look to cut Katamaro down off the apron and does so. This is the position that Sho wants to be in. Matched up one-on-one -on -one with El Desperado. Again, if he beats him here in this tag team match, cover two and a kick out. He'll be in the driver's seat for a future, ta a future junior heavyweight championship opportunity. Certainly after all the damage that Desperado took at the hand of Ishimori last night, Desperado's at his most vulnerable, at his most beatable here today. Desperado had a lot of work done by, on that left arm by Taji Ishimori. A real war of attrition, but a championship battle every bit worthy of its main event spot. As now Desperado and Cho hammer each other with forearms, center ring. Joe getting the better of the exchange. To the eyes. Oh. So the forearm puts Show down, and now, uh oh, not where Desperado wanted to be. Slips in behind. Waist lock, standing switch. Oh, perfect. And we can see a tap out here. Oh, very, very lucky. Oh, man. How close was El Desperado to submitting last night? It looked at one point that he did tap out. He was repositioning. Good judgment call by our referee, Mitsu Zuno. The dog walked on him yesterday by Dick Togo at Evil post-match. This is gonna be a wild one, folks. I did, well, I was say. As, as anticipated, Ishii tore right across the ring and went after Evil. We can forget the ring announcements. Go ahead and call for the bell because they want to fight. There's the bell. Six man tag. Ishiguchi, Rocky Romero versus Evil Ishimori Fantasmo. But should we say this is the mega coaches versus Fantasmo and Ishimori? Ishii and Evil just also happen to be here having their own individual singles match. Two, it's two matches in one because R Romero and Taguchi's focus is on beating the tag champs while Ishii wants revenge on Evil, exacting a small measure of that here to start. Rocky shooting Ishii into the corner and forget running in, forget running in circles. I'm going to go back outside and beat the hell out of Evil some more. Yeah, you, you can't coach Tomohiro Ishii. So no! <laughs> Dick Togo getting a little too close for comfort. Gary Obama attacks there, put down. An unfortunate landing for both Romero and Taguchi. Well, especially Taguchi made his comments backstage that Kenta had, quote, ruined his butthole last night. Oh, no. What? He said that out loud? I know. And sexy high marina, no less. And now it's Ishii on the wrong end of that shirt wrapped around the throat. Referee Kenta Sato in an unenviable position. And Phantasmo and Ishimori as Tanahashi teaming with the young lion Yoda. Suji and Kenta, another sneak attack. Remember, Tanahashi got the win last night for his squad over Yujiro and was celebrating with the crowd when Kenta, we thought he had left the arena, came back in and attacked Tanahashi from behind and he's done it twice now in less than 24 hours. And Tanahashi answering with fists to the face of Kenta. Kenta pounding away on Tanahashi. Yujiro stopped Yoda Suji out on the floor and it is down to these two. It is a barroom brawl here at the Sexy High Marina, Chris. There's no standing on ceremony. Now, Kenta, a handful of hair as well. What started, I think, was uh, an opportunity for both men to seek new directions into the summit. This has turned into an all-out 
Fight. On a second row. Springboard crossbody. And no riff of the air guitar. Street fights don't last long, and don't go away from your screen because this one could be over in the blink of an eye. The tag to Yoda Suji. Well, I'm sure we'll do all he can to match the intensity brought forth by his mentor. How about that? Here's a cover and a kick out at two. Taichi making news as well by bringing up the names of Tanahashi and Okada as potential challengers if they are successful here today. Great binding the leg is Kenta blocking the suplex effort of Yoda Suji. But Tanahashi seems to be focused on Kenta and not on potential tag team goal. Off the ropes. Now Jeff Cobb taking his time, coming in and savoring the moment. But now he's going to look to throw Okada for distance. Drives him back into the neutral corner. Cobb sends Okada back into the white pad and then catches it with the elbow. Up on the shoulders. Cobb makes it look easy. Power slam. Here's the cover. Two. Kicked out. Arguably, or perhaps seem arguably, the greatest IWTV heavyweight champion of all time. This being hurled. Killer to post by Jeff Cobb. Cobb thinking about Tour of the Islands. Okada put the brakes on. Comes forward. Caught. Looking for spin cycle. Okada fights out of that as well. Underneath the clothesline. Flapjack takes Jeff Cobb up and down. And now Yo awaits the tag. We'll get the opportunity to right the wrongs from earlier on. Cobb refusing to go down after the drop kick. Tries the cross body, leaped right into the power source of Jeff Cobb. All oh, the escapability there. Catches Cobb with the neck breaker, using Cobb's momentum to help him. And Cobb kicking out with emphasis. See a nasty welt on the back of Yo from the assault from earlier on. Trying to stick and run. Beautiful drop kick. He'll go for a cover again. Cobb unable to press him off as easily, but nevertheless, the pin incapable of getting. And all of Shingo's weight grinding the heel of his boots into the ribs and the stomach. I'm sure Ibushi is watching on New Japan World. And he is seeing Shingo Takagi begin to open up now on Master Wato. And that's uh, seeing Ibushi on Worlds and hopefully crafting or getting some lessons here. Shingo driving the wind out of Wato, which takes away a lot of the energy on those kicks and the wind of Kota Ibushi is, is also something that his opponents have played with. That was the game plan for, for Jay White in the Tokyo Dome when they went 45, 48 minutes plus. With Ibushi and Shingo in the main event at Tokyo Dome, obviously Ibushi can look back at recent success in the beautiful Tokyo Dome structure, but Shingo, of course, victorious as well. Successful defense of the never open weight championship against Jeff Cobb at this year's Wrestle Kingdom event back on back in January. And now taunting Master Watu comes back up and fires away. I mean, yeah, you can say how amazing, how impressive, and the best first half of, of the year of, out of anybody perhaps ever in Shingo Takagi. But Kota Ibushi. Oh. Kota Ibushi getting set to main event his fourth out of the last five Tokyo Dome events. That just an incredible achievement in its own right. And there is no bigger pressure spot 
than the main event in the Tokyo Dome. No I think how the camera shot. One of either Naito or Zack Sabre, oh, I think it was Zack, I think we heard him slam into the guardrails. That's got Naito enough time to get up on the apron for Sonata. And get the tag, so Tetsuya Naito now will come in against a fallen Sonata. And Naito feeling the effects of the dangerous Tekker's work on his left arm earlier. Here we go, looking for the leg sweep and the combination, cabrón. Naito looking to go big. Let's see if it pays off here, Chris. For that Frankenstein off the top, Taichi fighting out, dangerous, precarious position. You oh my God! Back the fist off the top. Oh my God! Naito clamps onto that turnbuckle. Taichi still in danger. And Naito takes him all the way over from the top. Oh, almost a new champ. <laughs> now Naito's looking for Gloria. Naito, quite familiar with that. Here we go. Again, Tai Chi might have been targeting the referee. He slipped out of the way. Zack Sabre Jr. comes in. Sonata in. Drop kick on the knee of Zack. Full button, the answer. Naito quick. Drop kick to the back of the head.